I used to teach English to the high school dropouts in the worst neighborhood in New York. Were you in my class? It's possible. You know the kind of kids who go to jail because they set fire to their parents? Then they would send them to me to teach them the difference between who and whom. That was the job. And I would try to make it relevant. I'd say, whom do you wish to murder, not who? Then I switched over to elementary school because I figured they don't pack a piece in the third grade. You know, you're scared of them. But they'd send me to like this one of these goody-goody suburban schools where the kids would just snitch on each other all day long. I hate that, don't you? I come from, I'm Italian, we don't fucking snitch. <laughs> Miss Behar, he said F. Miss Behar, he said F. I was like, leave me alone, I'm putting on my mascara here. <laughs> they were relentless, Miss Behar. I was finally one day, I said, okay. Who the fuck said F? <laughs> Who the fuck, and I got fired, you know? <laughs> yeah, well they snitched on me, the little bastards. <laughs> So you may know me from The View. Do you know The View? Yeah. Well, I had to leave last year because I was getting a contact high from Whoopi Goldberg. All afternoon, I have the munchies. I'm putting on weight. I have no idea why. You know? But a lot of people would not come on the show because of me. Imagine that, a sweet thing like me. Sarah Palin, for example, would not come on the show. She told Barbara Walters I was too hard on her. Do you know who Sarah is, don't you? Oh, yeah. I said, Sarah, come to New York. We'll shoot some rats in Central Park. We'll look at pictures of Russia at my house. It'll be great. But no, she didn't want to come. John McCain, Senator McCain, remember him? Okay, well, he came on one time, and um, I said to him, Senator, you know, you're running these ads that say that President Obama wants to teach kindergarten kids Sex education. I said, you know that's a lie. Why do you say you approve those messages? Right? Well, he was furious. And his wife was furious. And they stormed out of the place. And they said, we're never coming back here. Now, wasn't this guy, this guy was held captive by the Viet Cong. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> they left him out in the blazing sun to get skin cancer. They broke his arms. They waterboarded him. And yet years later, he, later, he went back and he forgave the Viet Cong. But the view, no. <laughs> And what a, what a pathetic group is running for office now. Have you been following this at all? Like this guy Huckabee. You know who he is? He's a little chunky. He wants everyone to be a Christian. If that happens, who's going to do my taxes? 